we're going to try this again. This is the fifth time. I don't know what's going on. I think I'm getting spiritually attacked, but I'm going to start off again. Grand Rising, God's Goddesses, Kings, Queens, what's goes on on YouTubers. I'm trying to bring you the word of the day for February 18, 2021. They want me to speak about healing ancestral bloodline. Every time I speak upon it, the video stops. It just, I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to keep trying until I get it right. Spirit is saying some of y'all are going through problems right now because y'all need to heal y'all ancestral lineage, y'all ancestral bloodline. There's a blockage between your ancestors and you. There's a barrier and it's causing y'all to be stuck. Y'all it's causing y'all to be powerless. Spirits gotta understand they bone in your bone, flesh in your flesh. It's part of your DNA. Sometimes we going through family problems right now, like can't budget money, right? Why everybody in my family got high blood pressure or cholesterol? Why is cancer in, uh, in, in if you go from past, 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 big mama died of this, her mother died of this, of genetic diseases it's because you need to break generational curses. You always hear me saying that you were chosen. They chose you to do this because your spiritual gifts was passed down to you. Some of your family members were strong psychics. Some of them were strong uh, root workers. Some of them were strong line of witches, brujas, whatever you want to call it. Some of them were strong lines of Baptist preachers, evangelists, prophets, and it's in your DNA. Sometimes, like, I'm going to use an example, the slaves. You can use them as Holocaust slaves African slaves, any type of slavery that was going on. I'm not going to just pick a race, any type of slavery. Back then, their children saw them get raped, hung, burnt, decapitated, stabbed to death, uh, mutilated, anything like that, whipped in front of them, whatever was going on, starved to death, and that traumatized them, and they suppressed it. So when they grew up, it was already in their bloodline. So when they started having children, it was passed on in generational curses. Some people didn't know how to budget money because, you know, they had to spend it constantly to a form of survival. So when they was doing that, no one taught them. So they passed it on to their children, to their children, to their children, to their children. That's why I said everything is a learned behavior. Spirit is saying you're going to have to go deep within and start healing your ancestral line. That's going to help with a lot of your family sickness, um, uh, confusion. Some of y'all are fighting with your mom. Some of y'all are fighting with your parents. I mean, your grandparents, because of this, you have to heal this. Another form, people's like, well, Sandra. I don't want to approach that person. You know, that person raped me. I don't want to do this. Okay, there's another way you can heal. You can write that person a letter and express in that letter, a heartfelt letter saying what you did to me. It's other ways to release that. Spirit is saying, don't just say I'm sorry and it's not coming from your heart because that's not going to heal your ancestral bloodline. This has to be heartfelt for you to heal it. And then you're going to start seeing what's the benefits of healing your ancestral bloodline, peace within your family, doors opening to you, more manifestation, more money coming towards you, more wisdom and knowledge, more understanding your spiritual gifts. They coming down and helping you. Like I said, it doesn't always have to be your blood family member. It can be someone that adopted you. And y'all be like, that's my blood brother. That's my brother from a different mother. That's my sister from a different father or whatever you want to say. It, it doesn't matter. It can be godparents or whatever. I can get, I can adopt somebody and then when it's my time I can bestow my gifts upon somebody that's just how it works but you have to heal it and once you start healing it is you're going to start seeing things different because you're healing that bloodline another thing they saying that another form of offering because a lot of spirits are are putting the emphasis that some of y'all feeling like y'all just living day by day y'all don't have the extra food to give them spirits say you don't always have to you can give them a cup of coffee you can go get those little instant pack of coffee pour it in a cup put hot water in it you can warm it up every day keep it for a week and warm the coffee up every day and give it to them. Just change the water. Spirit is saying sometimes you can go to their grave and pour some libration and some flowers or put some flowers on their altar or keep the memory of the good things they've done and what y'all shared. Y'all have to keep the energy up. Everything is energy. Also, Spirit is saying, um, I tell a lot of people the reason why your vitamin C is low, D3, is because you know, the earth's currency is energy. So when you start talking to spirits, whether you can hear them, see them, or feel them, they uh, prey on your energy. So sometimes they have to lower their energy to communicate with us, and we have to raise our energy to communicate with them. So sometimes they get depleted. So sometimes when I speak, I said I can't really understand them because they're going in and out because they're using up all their energy 
to talk to me. And sometimes if you're not honoring them, they don't have enough energy. So sometimes I say you need to honor them. Also, when you are with them, that's why you get tired and drained because you're raising your energy level to talk to them. Everything is energy. Let's, let's get into some affirmations. Talk to me, spirit. What is the affirmation that you want for them today? Can I get one card, please? They gave two. I am authentic. I don't feel like putting on my glasses on because they're starting to hurt. I am authentic. Remember, you uniquely. You want to be original. You don't want to die a copy. Continue to be you. Let the world see the true you. It's time for you to come out of the closet. And I'm not talking about sexually closet. I'm tired. I'm trying to say spirits and your ancestors want you to come out and to embrace who they are. They're not ashamed of you. You shouldn't be ashamed of who you are. Also, you have to understand you have was not always the person of like, for example, I have was not always black. I was different nationalities and different past lifetimes. I also were animals. So you have a lot of ancestors are trying to get to you. But in the past 400 years, you have 4,094 that's really trying to heal you so you can heal this curse that's going on. I have permission. You have permission because you have free will. You have permission to love yourself. You have permission to love others. You have permission to forgive yourself. You have per permission to forgive others. No one's going to force you to do it. But the main thing to do right here that your ancestors are saying, they really want you to heal. So it has to be heartfelt. Like I said, if you don't want to approach this person, write them a letter and read it out that way. see new supportive connections spirit is saying once you start healing this y'all going to build a bond with your ancestors they're going to help you open doors they're going to help understand your gifts some of y'all ancestors like i said were powerful powerful shamans powerful root workers powerful brujas powerful witches high priestess priest mag sag however you want to say it they were powerful and they want you to have it this is how some of y'all ancestors want to wake you up and start dropping dimes on how to make money moves on these oils i see someone's about to make an ointment for alopecia or to grow your edges back spirit is saying your uh ancestor was very good into herbal that's all they did. People came to them. They called him the medicine man and a woman of their tribe. And he wants to bestow that gift upon a lot of people. Some of y'all people were from the Babylonian days. They were prophets that was not spoke upon in the Bible days, but was a seer that had visions that talked to God. They want to pass that on to y'all. Some of them, some of your ancestors was powerful gypsy, which means they tell fortune. They can read crystal balls, squire, beans, bones, rice, curry shells, or whatever it is, strong divination skills. They want to pass it on to y'all. Some of y'all ancestors was powerful artists, and you wonder why you're the only person in your family that can draw like this or can sing like this because it was passed down to you. So you really need to start healing this ancestral bloodline. It's in your DNA. One more card, spirit, please. said one and you gave me more than one align your life spirit is saying it's time to align your life stop marley what is not aligned or needs to change if you're not in alignment if you're not in an agreement to heal your ancestral bloodline Things are always going to be chaotic. Things are always going to be fucked up because you really hear this. You're trying to break generational curses and karmic curses. You want to break it for them. So when it's your time to transition, your children don't have to go through what you go through. It's going to be an easy way. Keepers of the earth. Spirit is saying a lot of y'all like our came back earth angels. Y'all ancestors was earth angels. Some of y'all past loved ones is not 
they ascended because they did what they were supposed to do on this earth and they ascended and they your ascended loved ones your ascended masters they are the keepers of the earth you are not alone ancient ancestors stand beside you that's why i said this is very powerful because you need to really get to know your ancestors the answer to what you're seeking is yes you're about to go into that unity your prayers have been answered continue to keep focus and have that faith remembering back in the bible days when the disciple says jesus Yahshua, rabbi why can't we cast out this and this and this in your name that he said oh ye so little faith some of y'all have so little faith y'all doubt yourself every time y'all do something you're like i ain't gonna get it anyway so if that's how you feel, and they're going to say, mm, Sandra, I don't want to go to somebody else and get it. And then you'd be like, you know what? Damn, I had the same idea. Yeah, but you denied it. They came to you first before they came to him or her. They came to you first, and you'd be like, I don't deserve this. So they passed it on. That's why I said your words, your testimony is meant for people that won't have the ear to hear. If it's not, it's going to come back to you. Mirror. Spirit is saying you need to look at the person in the mirror. That is your competition. You need to be better than yourself every day. Yesterday, you need to be better than you was yesterday, today. Today, tomorrow, you need to better be better than you are today for tomorrow. You have to mirror. You have to start combating the things that you don't like about yourself. And this is how you're going to overcome a lot of obstacles. Who and what is triggering you? Standing there and say in the mirror, like, Sandra, what is holding you back? They might give you visions. You might hear something. You might see something in the mirror. But Spirit is saying you got to start doing that. Start using your intuition. Some of y'all are channeling spirits. And Spirit is saying you need to call forth your protection before you start channeling things. Because sometimes you're channeling things that you shouldn't do and they low vibrational. One card, Spirit. What messages do you have for them today? One card. Your, some of y'all ancestors are really trying to get through. Someone, this, I'm picking up, this is for a gentleman. Someone was raised by their big mama. They started off with their mom and you and your mom started fighting constantly and she put you, put you out. So you went to stay with your grandmother and your grandmother was your rock. Your grandmother helped you. Your grandmother understood you. The reason why she understood you because y'all had the same gifts. So she understood you. She just said it in a religious way to butter up stuff because back in her days it was looked upon but she taught you everything she passed on and it just broke your heart spirit is saying you really need to build that because there's something she has to tell you why you and your mom was fighting why your relationship is not good she wants to help you heal that relationship so when you have children it's not going to be passed down to you so spirit is saying Whoever this is is very close to their grandmother, Big Mama. She calls you Big Mama. She taught you how to do laundry. She taught you how to clean. You are the man you are today because of Big Mama. You really need to get in touch with her. What other messages do you have? You're very psychic. You're very intuitive. You are a healer. One card, please, Spirit. One message is... Opportunities. Cayete. Opportunities. Spirit is trying to give you lots of opportunities, but sometimes we in our way because we got a barrier between our ancestors and us. Spirit is saying that once you fix that barrier between your ancestors and start healing your ancestor line, these karmatic deaths, these generational curses, I'm telling you, you're going to have a door to a lot of opportunities. And it's opening your realm to the spirit realm more. Y'all having that connection. It's going to heal your bloodline now is going to heal your children's bloodline, the grandchildren, so forth, so forth. You're breaking it. It's, they chose you because you're the strong one. Talk to me, spirit. Let's give them something to talk about. I'm hearing the name Damon or Damien. I'm hearing the name Donald. Spirit is saying y'all ancestors have a lot of lessons to give y'all. Because like I said, they passed down this spiritual inheritance is in your birthright. And it's time for you to be, the, the teacher is appearing. It's time for you to go through these lessons. It's time for you to be, those that are a powerful medium, where do you think you got this from? From them. 
They want to teach you how to do it right. They want to teach you. They are your voices. They the ones that whisper in your ear. Those are the ones that's waking you up and telling you you need to do this, her, you do this, her. Don't think this automatically come to you. This is your ancestors putting stuff in it. All these people that's making oils or know how to do these rituals, where do you think you're getting it from? You really need to start um, getting this bond with your ancestors. Start writing it down because they're going to give you their book of shadows, their book, their book of grimoires. They it's going to be imprinted into you and they want you to write it down so that book of knowledge you can pass down to your kids or your grandkids or your great grandkids they trying to pass it down and sometimes they give you visions sometimes they give you premonition which is a vision sometimes they put you in a trance sometimes they come to you at night you're going through a lot of cycles spirit is saying you need to start paying attention to the moon cycle some is stronger than the others when you have that strong unction or something that and they come to you and all of a sudden they waking you up at three o'clock you like okay talk to me talk to me what is it that you want me to know some of y'all when y'all doing y'all concoctions y'all y'all herbs and stuff y'all really need to be tying y'all head up spirit is saying if you start seeing a different color that's what color they want you to put on when you start mixing up these herbs um you really got to understand sometimes they show you numbers signs symbols it's like i said some of y'all be going in the trance and y'all be doodling that's something y'all need to work for. That might be a talisman for some money. That can be a talisman for protection. You got to start paying attention because spirit will talk to you. Some of y'all are saying, mom, dad, that passed on a big mama. This person broke my heart. I'm trying to heal. They there for you. They are comforting for you. Sometimes y'all have heartbreak because you said, I can't understand why I keep fighting with my mom and my dad. Or why my sister always saying, I wish you died. I wish you was never here because you have to heal these generational curses because because it was done from generation to generation to generation. This is just not happening to you. This has happened before in a lot of past life. So you got to start healing that. What other messages do you have for them? Some of y'all are... Um, some of y'all are or have trouble financing budgeting your money because back in your day your ancestors wasn't taught properly had to do it they was always in survival mode or they was always depressed and they was drinking and they sold the money or they was whore howling some of y'all gotta understand why my uncle's so whore he's a pimp because it was passed down in generational generational generations and he spent money so it's like why am i addicted going to strip club same way your ancestors was addicted going to the juke joints so you have to break this generational uh, thing it's a pattern once you start healing that and call upon the ones your ancestors are going to teach you how to budget it's going to teach you how to do everything how to cook all that so you have to heal this ancestral bloodline Some of y'all are fearing like, I don't want to. You can't fear what's already a part of you. They have always been with you. They're going to be with you when it's your time to transition. Spirit is saying, God did not give you the spirit of fear, but we do have it. So don't let it consume you. It's false evidence appearing real or you can face everything and run or rise. Spirit is saying you have to do that to embrace these ancestors. They're not going to hurt you. Sometimes they appear to warn you. Once again, you have the karmatic partner. Spirit says some of y'all family members are karmatic partner because y'all have went through it in so many different lifetimes and y'all didn't heal it in the last lifetime or the other last time. So y'all bring it forth in this lifetime. Y'all have to do that. Some of y'all are still with the same person. You're like, why is this person? Why I keep attracting this type of people? Because you have done it in so many past lives. Your mother did it. Your grandmother did it. Your aunt did it. So it's a generational done. So you have to break these generational curses. What other messages do you have for them spirit some of y'all are starting to see action take place some of y'all are starting to let go of this pride and ego spirit is saying you have to know the difference between pride and ego because sometimes it's your ego and we let ourselves down you like spirit you said you said this and spirit guys and sent and your ancestors saying we didn't say that that was you so you have to discern which is the ego and which one is spirit some of y'all about to receive y'all starting to receive messages pay attention uh of the faces when you're taking a hot shower and you know that the mirror has a lot of steam start paying attention there's um faces in there 
Some of y'all are binding yourself to spirit. Spirit is saying y'all channeling stuff because y'all in this face group book called the Black Witches or yada, 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 or this, and they teaching you how to do this. And you know, if you channel this, you can bind this or you can banish this. You know you fucking up. They not even properly doing it right. Some of y'all don't understand. Y'all asking for exorcism. Y'all asking for spirits and, and demons to invade your body because you're listening to everybody instead of going to the right person and asking your ancestor to send you to somebody that will help you, that will mentor you. Stop doing it. Some people, you need to pay for it. Stop trying to get free advice. When someone's saying, well, I tell you free, I mentor you free, they fucking up. Because they're not mentoring you right. You got to start being careful for that. And then y'all wonder why y'all having soul attachments. Y'all wonder why y'all suffering from bad anxiety. Or feel like something's trying to invade your body. It's because you're binding shit to you. You're channeling shit to you. And you're doing it wrong. You're not doing your protection. You're not doing none of that. What other messages do you have? Talk to me, spirit. Some of y'all are refocusing during these cycles, during this time. You're refocusing. You're starting to breathe and, and, and appreciate life. Some of y'all are finding yourself, y'all want to be in a hermit mode. Y'all want to be in solitude. It's because y'all trying to get into that connection with your spirit guides and your ancestors. And they guiding you into solitude. Some of y'all is like, I, I just want to be alone right now. I just want to be away from the road, a world. Because y'all picking up all that. Y'all very empathic. Y'all big old sponge and y'all absorbing everything. So y'all need to recharge. And it's like, oh God, I just got to get away. Spirit is saying, just go somewhere peaceful near a lake, in a park. Just go outside if it's snowing. Take three woo size breath, recharge and meditate and refocus. Some of y'all at that crossroads, spirit is saying, just let them handle it. Take their hand and understand they're not going to hurt you. Someone is going to go get a breakthrough in seven days. They showing me the wall of Jericho. In seven days, someone is going to have a breakthrough. All of a sudden, you're going to like, it's going to be a windfall of blessings out of nowhere. This is your breakthrough in seven days. They showing me. Your ancestors are marching around this wall that you got built up, and it's about to break down in seven days. March 13th, someone is going to meet someone that's going to change their life. What other messages do you have for them, spirit? Someone is feeling stuck. It's because you're refusing to be open to receiving. you doubting yourself. You're feeling cloudy and stuck. Spirit is saying you have to release that. That is not your happiness. Some of y'all are spiritually attached to a lot of stuff. That's why y'all feeling stuck. Spirit is saying sometimes y'all are channeling the wrong ancestors because you're like, oh, this is my uncle that was in the the gang and he's going to do this. And you know what? He's fucking with you because he's a low vibrational ancestor and he's attached to you. And that's why you're having problems because you're channeling the wrong ancestors. Any ancestors that fucked up on this earth will be the ones that fuck up as above, so below. So be careful who you're channeling. Be careful who these demons or gods or whatever, spirits or tricksters. They'll play a trick on you. That's why I say you need to identify anything that you're getting called to you because you're feeling stuck. You're feeling like something's not right, something's off. Spirit is saying sometimes someone that you think is your friend got you in the, in the freezer bag. They say you're a spiritual friend, but they really jealous of you and they sneaky. They smile in your face and stab you in your back. They got you in a, a freezer. Someone needs to do a reversal spell. Someone's at the crossroads. Spirit is saying just trust in the divine and they and know that they got you. What other messages do you have? Someone's going to fly on a long distance trip. Spirit is saying, you know, be careful. COVID's in there. Cover your hands. Wear two masks. Wear some type of glasses because COVID can get passed through your eyes. But also, if you do get COVID, there's a reason behind it. It's a very spiritual reason. You're probably going to go through a spiritual death because you're going to start appreciating life more. Trust me, you're going to start seeing things different. Somebody need to disconnect from the world and relax. Like I said, you're carrying on a lot of people's burdens. You, you, you got a lot going on. You're going through this karmatic thing with your family. You're just feeling, oh my God, I just get, got to get away. Spirit is saying you need to disconnect and relax and just breathe and, and get near some water. Just soak in a bathtub, sip on something, get away, eat an edible. I got a funny story about that edible. My edibles, you only, the lady said only eat a little bit, like one fourth. I ate the whole fucking thing at the 500 milligram. So I was fine. I said, this ain't nothing. All of a sudden it's like, 
And I was just going like this, like, don't touch me, don't touch me. And it was just funny. I, I'm sorry. But I won't do that again. Yeah, them edibles will fuck you up. But Spirit said, take a half an edible. Do something. Smoke that ooh-wee or something, but relax. But whoever's going on this trip, it's going to be different when you return. When you return back, you're not going to be the same. What other messages do you have for the uh, YouTuber spirit? Yep, someone uh, is going to have a breakthrough. It's your ancestors are walking through that wall. You've been praying and asking for help. I mean, constantly, you've been keeping the faith spirit. And them walls are coming down in seven days. Continue to be patient. Something is going to happen. Someone's breakthrough is in seven days. Yep, spirit is saying someone is making up fake profiles to watch you. You blocked them. Because they were stalking you, I don't know, in a negative way or a positive way, but they were just obsessed with you. They always had to see what the fuck is goes on around you. And they were lying about you, battering your name, and you blocked them. Spirit is saying they're making fake profiles to see you to make sure, like, okay, I did this spell. Is she okay? Why my spells ain't working? I'm waiting on her downfall. It's not going to happen. Spirit is saying, be careful. There's someone has entertainers watching them. Entertainers, uh, famous people make up fake profile. Somebody's going to meet Chance the Rapper from something you're doing. He got a fake profile and he's going to reach out to you and you're going to be like, I don't got time for this. And he's going to say, no, this is the real me. And I think y'all going to FaceTime each other or something or video time. But somebody's about to read that because they watching you continue to understand, continue to do your work and be guided because you're going spiritually somewhere. They believe in you and they like you. They interest in you. Yeah, they saying a lot of famous people, they don't want all that attention on them. So they making up fake profiles people somebody's dreaming of you that's attached to you whoever ghosted you is going through their karma or you ghosted them they're going to try to come back because they understand you was their water that's why their well is running dry they wish they would have treated you better they starting to realize that they truly love you spirit is saying no you're better than this you don't move backwards you move forward but they constantly dreaming of you Someone's thinking about getting a little puppy, uh, a Doberman Pinscher or, or a German Shepherd. Spirit is saying that's one of your spiritual animals. That's why you're being drawn to it. Spirit is saying if someone is drawn to some type of African art painting, artifact, drum or something, that's your ancestor speaking to you. That's part of who you are. They want you to go ahead and purchase that. Start wondering if you're attracted to odd things. It's because your ancestors are trying to come through and that's part of your heritage. It doesn't matter what it is if you can if you're white and you're attracted to something african or something mexican or whatever that's your ancestors like i say you was not always white and you white in this lifetime but not in in other past life you were something else what other messages do you have for them spirit someone needs to be prideful of who they are spirit is saying you're not you don't have enough pride Spirit is saying somebody needs to pay attention to the details. They're showing you different signs, warning signs of people's behavior. That all of a sudden this person has an anger problem. Everything that don't go their way, they have an anger outburst. Spirit is saying you need to recheck their relationship because he has a violent past. He's very abusive. Start paying attention. To You're starting to see little signs because they're saying pay attention to the details. This person is somebody. Somebody's going to meet somebody on the March 13th. I'm hearing this is going to be your life partner. This is what you're going to be baiting for. It's going to start off slow and it's going to blossom to something else. What other messages do you have for them, spirit? Somebody is drinking too much, baby. You can't drink your problems away. You seeing spirits, you hearing things. That's just enhancing it. Because everybody said, why you don't smoke when you do readings? Because I'm going to go buck wild. Spirit might say, girl, he left you because your poom poom stink. I might say something like that. So y'all really don't want me to be on the substance when I'm doing reading because, you know, I'm really already straightforward now. I'm going to be 110 straightforward because everybody's like, you should try it high. I'm like, no, I'm already wrong, dog. I'm going to go really harder if I suppress that. So because when I'm under the influence, when I do do it, I mean, I'll be getting messages left and right. And I'm like, spirit, I don't want to say that. And every time I do eat an edible, somebody's like, oh, can I cancel spirit? my ancestors know so they always reschedule on me some people's drinking too much y'all drinking your life away spirit is saying stop you need to release that in another way somebody says you need to start showing
showing compassion to your children because you're a little bit too hard because your parents was hard on you. Everybody's not you. You was built for that. Sometimes your children's not built for that. Somebody's going to get an unexpected visitor. And I'm talking about a spiritual visitor and a human visitor. It could be an animal too. Someone's going to get a visitor soon. Spirit is saying some of y'all keep pointing a finger at accusation. It's both of y'all motherfuckers. Both of y'all motherfuckers need to stop. Both of y'all the motherfucking problem. Both of y'all need to motherfucking heal. Spirit says some of y'all are hiding the truth. Y'all need to come out of the damn closet. Sexually, spiritually, whatever fucking closet you coming out of. Maybe y'all cross-dresser and whatever. I don't give a fuck. That's you. But Spirit is saying you're hiding behind the truth. Spirit is saying someone is really hiding about this relationship. You're really not into her. Just be honest. Somebody you watching on YouTube or TikTok, you feel like that's her. That's the one or that's him. That's him. He's the one. You need to start paying the truth and be honest to the person because you would want that person to be honest with you. Spirit is saying you really need to be apologetic. When you ask, when you forgiving them and forgiving yourself, it has to come from your heart. Once again, if you don't want to talk to that person, write that person a letter and read it. I hope this was helpful to somebody. Please check out my money oil. Please, you know, support me. I will support y'all. Check out my frankincense water, anything of my products. You know, right now, um, go to my website, be the reading. Support me, please. I appreciate that. Um, closed mouth, do not get fed. So y'all, my word of mouth. Y'all be blessed. Namaste.